hello everybody. Welcome. All right, so here we are, heading down to the bottom of the ocean. Let's go. All right. You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Please continue your investigations. Oh, whoops. Find out. I forgot that we were already down there. My bad. That's what I get for not remembering last week. All right. All right. Quick save that. All right, here we go. Ow. How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. The shell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere, and the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them. So we ran, but hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us, but but the others had already wrapped in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it just food for the sharks and the silicath, like us. No! I locked the door so the Selkath won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead. If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. That voice actor sounds so familiar. I think it's from... Oh, I wonder if it's the actor from... Uh, here's going to show my nerd, my nerd here. Um, Star Trek Discovery. For some... Helix, I think, is the character's name in that. Ooh, lots of credits. Okay, seeing how more likely we're going to be fighting as soon as we go through this door. I will put locker first. Your spikes. Nine. I don't know if you can review. Debating, do we want a vent or so? I seem mad. Droids. More droids. Okay, let's def. Oh, I don't have enough. Damn. Oh, okay, yeah, that's us. Yeah, overload the conduit. That'd be smooth. 
Okay. And we can't go through that door. We gotta go through this door. Yes. Well, might as well get ready for a fight. What? Sure. All right, let's go. What can I do? You can go first and stun him. See, you got the. What? I guess we're gonna fight this one too. Oh sweet, look at that. Level up. I say let's up our computer skills just a little bit because we're starting to have to hack a bunch more stuff. Alright. Now do we want this one? Stun droid here as well. Oh, we got two actually. So let's go stun droid. And we'll do. Yeah, let's up our healing. And who else uh -huh. is up? Karth is up. Uh, let's go. Intelligence, skills. Awareness feats. Let's make you hard to kill, Karth. There we go. Yes. Uh, let's start with this door. Thanks, Emma. Oh, snap. What can I do? Talk about that later, Karth. We don't need to do the ball. Oh, really? Nothing in here? Okay, well, we might as well check whatever this is. Thank you. 
Oh, and the full heal gets rid of poison, that's good. Oh, scientist memo. And a sonic. Uh, something. Okay, let's look here. Items. There is scientist memo. Sonic emitter, just scare them off. Okay. By the looks of it, we're gonna have to go out and take a walk out in the water soon. Sonic grenade and just blast away. Right. Let's get a shot. There we go, got it. Jeez. What can I do? What? All right, so quick save here before we go any further. Fishy, fishy for me. And the self cast went insane and started killing me. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. 
No, 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 that's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. Still can't eat them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the coast is. A few fishies there. Many, many, many fishies in between the water. No, no, no. Only oh, that force was so it didn't work. Oh, no. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. Bye bye. Go look. That's a weird thing. By now. Oh, right there. when they're fighting each other. Oh, if you guys are wondering why I don't have a vi uh, cam up, because I realized that the cam was the one causing the issues with the uh, issues with the screen on the uh, game here, so until I get a better computer to help stream this, just have to settle for my voice. Master Jedi Defense, might as well give her that. Powers. Well, up her cure as well. Well. Sure. Go. Alright. Alright, so that's the door that we couldn't get through last time, so we'll do a quick save. Might as well check in here. It's not letting me do force lightning. How'd you like that? That hurt. Time to rumble. Oops. How'd you like that? Sure. How'd you like that? 
So be it. So be it. You shall fall. <laughs> How'd you like that? Do a quick save from there. Is there anything? Nope. I got the mask on. Alright, so that looks like the exit to go out in the water. Check this door over here. So I was in that other room. Maybe I missed something. Okay, quick save. That's oh, another pressure door. Hmm. Environment suit, 
head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. Uh, you wait here. I'll go I'm check not it out. I'm spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Why do I have a feeling that that's not going to end well for him? Saw that coming. Guess I'm heading this way. Oh, that thing comes in handy. Just like my goldfish. Which door do I want to go to? Yeah, let's go to this one. So what's the tally right now? So just one vote for light side? Alright. myself no. And breath mask, which I already have. Alright, let's do a quick save. 
as we use my med pack. No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the cell cap in. No, stay out, stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! Jeez. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. It's a good thing I had those no. spikes. The Silcath are coming. No. No, no! Ah! I, I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the Silcath went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The Frax and Sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Cellcath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cat outside the doors every once in a while, and, and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. We had a secret agreement with the moderates in the Selkath government. They knew that Manan could not survive independently if the Sith were victorious. Those thugs would wipe out the whole damn planet just to get at the Kolto. So the Republic approached them about making this secret installation to harvest more Kolto, where the Sith couldn't see us. But all that went horribly, horribly wrong. What happened? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Faraxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too, and they turned on us. May, it may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Like what? Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Kolto as a food source. And all those other Farax and Sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. So what can I do about the it? Farax and Sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What are you talking about? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Frax and Sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kolto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. 
What else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Phyraxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Phyraxan shark. What other choice do the I have, though? The seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. How would I do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the culto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. Okay, well, let's go deal with these guys first. And walked right into a concussion grenade. Awesome. Heal up really quick. So that, I think we're just gonna sit. If you can, once you Konos. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so I think that other door over there was probably the other option I could have gone in at. So this is probably the door out to the machine. The inner look sequence. Oh, let's do a quick save. Whoa! Literally right in front of me. Thank you. giant shark over there. And 
form. There you go. Problem solved. Oh, see, now he's moved over. Or she, I guess, if it's the mom. So I'm curious how, so if it was, cause depending on how long it took them to build this settlement, how uh, Revan Malik got down here. I guess they could have just taken a submersible, come down and landed by it. Computer use feats improve force focus night sense. That's not this one is the Master Jedi defense. One sec, we wanted to get that. Uh, what's this one? I know, implant level two, add, okay, powers. You want dominate mind, disable dread, ah, let's go dominate mind. Sent. Sweet. So if I go through that other door, I should be able to go right back to the other. Yeah, to the other side of the thing there. Oh, there we 
They're both here. Oh geez, that was the exit right there. Okay. Right, let's do a quick save. Let's go. Got everything we needed. You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Same. What did they do? Why? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. Yeah. You have done your job. I have a guess that if we would have used the poison, it would have destroyed all the cult oh. also. And did you end up finding your star map? Yes. As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Okay, I technically have enough to do that now for that assassin job, but I think I'm supposed to do that without anybody watching me. Oh, this ought to be good.
Sweet. Okay, quick save. All right, so we got the star map. Where are we at now for credits, anyways? close to that one thing. Well, we could do the assassination thing and see how much that gains us. Okay, let's do that. Let's go return to the Ebon Hawk. Might as well do the one here. If we do we get a little bit of dark side points, it shouldn't drop us down that far. Oh, and we can also talk to that guy at the bar and see how much he's going to pay us for uh, letting him know what the mercenaries were for. Is the bar on this one? I can't remember. Dark side points gained, all right. I have a feeling any assassination job would be dark side points. Now it's trying to see if I can remember if guys. Oh no, he's right there. Never mind. Human act in Tikatune. 
Kiska do soki, kopa pomal na kaki, zabora na winki, smak to má. Kruja mi, piusku, tom chuť vama, ak ti kuko pine. Potom chuť vama, ti ak ti kuko pú, tom pa do kuj. No i ti vi aj taká, tom ti ťa, ak ti kuko pune, čuna múli vá. Kiska do soki, kopa pomal na kaki, zabora na winki, smak to má. Kujami kusku kita na kiva eita kan kita na kupor nibo kun muri ras nici wi eita kan tong kita agi uko tune kuna muri ra tani waman kiska do soki kopa bono na kaki na bora na winki smak toma kujami kusku kita na i kuchu apenti tong kita waman agi uko tune. Potong si mama ki aki uko tu Tong kiska do soki Kopa bono na kaki Labora na winki smak toma Kuya mi kiusku ki Tong si mama aki uko tu ne Potong si mama ki aki uko tu Kiska do soki Kopa bono na kaki Labora na winki smak toma Kuya mi tong si mama aki uko tu ne Potong si mama ki aki uko tu Tong pa do ku Chi vi ai ta ka tong ki cha Agi uko tu ne Chi wa e ai ta ka ki cha na Chupor ni bo Kun muli ras ni mo poi wanga ta Chi vi ai ta ka tong ki cha Agi uko tu ne Chuna muli ra Chi wak e aita kan ki cha na Chi vi aita ka tong ki cha Agi uko tu ne chuna muli ra Tong ni wak ki muli ra Chi vi Oh, just the poisonous spiral blade. Eh, I don't know if that's worth it. That's a lot of extra trouble. Um... I'm guessing the bar is on the other side. Five hundred credits will do. All right, I know there's something else we could do here, but I think we're pretty good. So let's head back to the Evan Hawk. Got our star map. Let's do a quick check on everyone. Griff and his latest plan. 
I got a bad feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Theresian ale, and now he's got himself mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. Why not? He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace, so maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Maybe that's just the kind of jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not gonna change him. Griff is gonna keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Well, there you go. Regain some light side points. Okay, that's mission. Let's talk to... <laughs> How may I be of assistance? Okay. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me inside myself now and I can still see it I still feel it more time would more do time. Good. time to distance myself from that anger I think that is why the council agreed to send me with you they think perhaps that in your company I will be able to free myself from it I thank you concern and your acceptance I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company and trust all right so that, uh, let's go talk to Bastla yes, so what's in your mind? I already told you he betrayed us all Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there. My task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but the, the, they didn't come in time. Of course not, how could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. She had courage, and... and she was stubborn. Could never talk her out of anything when she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. I had planned on... on leaving soon to join her. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, I hope that answers your questions. Let's, uh, let's continue with what we were doing. All right, background on Carter. How can I help? Yes, I did end that quite abruptly, didn't I? 
Perhaps a master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom. But I never should have brought it up here. Not with you. Part of my purpose on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light. To help you avoid the temptations of the dark side. But I fear I've failed in that task. I don't think I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. I am no master. You should have remained with the Council. The fact of the matter is, I have never possessed much skill at controlling myself. With the bond that joins us, it seems I have even less. You have maintained the path of the light side. But it has been in spite of my influence, not because of it. It's increasingly obvious I am unable to guide you properly. So what now? No. I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply hope that you are not the one who pays the price, ultimately, for the fact that I can't help you enough. Maybe we can help each other. See, there is wisdom in your words. You, you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before. And you're nothing like what I expected you to be after... after the Council sent us on this mission together. How do you expect to be? Different, I suppose. Things are not going as I thought they would. I, I need time to think about all this. We should continue on with our mission for now. All right. So, all right, we've got done Tatooine, we've done the man, we've done Dantooine. So we have Kashik and Korriban. Let's see Corbin. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Well, that seemed unnecessary. Find Bastila and bring her to me, alive if possible. As you command, Master. Oh, it looks like it's in a temple. Okay. You 
felt it, yes. Another vision. The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. There are some who believe Korriban is the birthplace of the Sith. This planet is an evil place. There are secrets here best left uncovered. During the vision, I felt cold and trapped, almost as if I was buried alive. It felt like we were in some kind of tomb. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Sith so recognize you? Maybe you're right. Most of the Dark Jedi would only know me by name, but there are a few among them who might recognize my face. For the safety of our mission, I must remain on the Ebon Hawk while we are on this planet. Okay. Well, in that case, we need another Jedi, so we'll take... Oops. Add, and we'll keep Karth. Uh-huh. Oh, level up for Karth. Let's do Awareness. And Repair. No, no. Trade Injury. Feats. Well, I just gave you all of the gun stuff, Garth. Treat injury. Feats. Let's go. Flurry attack. Powers. Definitely get heal. She's probably going to have a few because it's the first time we've used her. Awareness, treat injury. Oh, not high enough for that yet. Slow. Okay, let's go with that. One-handed weapons dueling. Okay, let's get her up in that. Stasis. Let's get a warlord. Okay. Another one. Alright. Treat injury. Eh. Might as well give her stasis. Thanks, Bruce. Oh, it's restricted by armor. Okay. That's why my guy can't use it right now, because I have the armor on. I have to switch to a Jedi robe, unfortunately. That explains that. Okay. Or shield. Accept. Attributes. Let's get her one-handed fighting all the way up. There we go, heal. Alright. Okay, if that's the case... Let's see the differences here. What does that one look like? Eh. Dark Jedi robe. Looks almost the exact same. Oh wait, I didn't. Know. Just 
that one, and then what's the difference with the Jedi Master Road? Same, and eh, I like the blue one better. And if that's the case, might as well give you Davix armor. You can't use any of that. Sure. Ooh. Makes me immune to mind stuff. Sweet. Alright. Quick save. <laughs> no, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, king conchope shock. No ba mulira ji. Johnny, you turum chi. We eat a deer. Ola una chinek. Ba mulira. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. The lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the Academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the Academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Oh, this is rich. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Well, perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Please, tell them to let us go, I beg you. Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now. A decision, please. Let them go? And what could possibly convince me to do that? I want to let them go. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. They're not worth my time. I'm on my head. What, what was that? I feel like... <sighs> Just get out of here, all of you. I don't have time for this. Well, he's clearly weak-minded. Would you have any 
Tony Duama G, Human Act Unkit. Nika, Madumaka, Patisa, Patisa. Just Kronki to Pets Nemo, Chi Ita Kang Chi Wi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha. Agi Uko Tune, Kakin Cha Nawa Bagaon, Bagwa Shang Konti Machi Tum. Jiska Dosoki, Kopa Bono Nakachi, Labora na Winky Smack Toma, Kuyami Jusku Chichi Wi Aita Ka Chong Chi Cha Baba Hasan Shan. Oh, he's got a fair amount of stuff, but we can check that out later. Look here, my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony, led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before. Have you? I hate Jedi. And these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Great. Just what we needed. Some punks to come steal our lunch credits. <laughs> <laughs> Smart-mouthed newcomers to boot. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? Oh, neither do I. <laughs> I simply stated a fact. Do you know how many Sith there are in Dresde? What is this raffle? How many guesses do we get? <laughs> do not provoke them, Kart. Enough to crush this fool! Let's do it, Lasho! Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us. Make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I've heard this one before. I think... Quiet! And then... Kid, maybe you should try juggling next time. Huh. That's the oldest joke in the book. Well, it certainly didn't amuse us, did it? Try again. Oh, I see. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? <laughs> it looks like this one's not afraid of you at all, Lasho. Are you going to let us be insulted? Oh, get over yourself already. I'm tired of this. Yeah, this one's got some backbone at least. Let's go. Fine. I'll deal with you later. Now, why do I have feel I'm gonna have to deal with her later? It's... Oh, that was entertaining. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Yes, it was. I find it difficult to speak of those things. I do not want to live that way ever again. And here, it seems different. It is... it is warming. I feel almost... welcome. Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Yes, and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I'm used to. Just thank you for accepting me. I suppose you've heard about the destruction of Taurus, yes? Awful business, that. Zerka lost a fortune there. Not that a Sith care. 
We do some mining here and are responsible for local shipping and support of the Sith on Korriban. Our starport is mostly just freighters and such, but we do get many travelers that come here to learn from the Sith. This office is actually our administrative headquarters for this region. Rather inauspicious, isn't it? We offer good prices here to those traders that keep the colony supplied. If you're in need of anything, this is the place to come. You certainly can. Allow me to punch up our stock. Not my med pack, life support pack. Nice. Some decent stuff in here. Okay. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my home world. We did not see Jedi very often. Looks like we're catching up on a bunch of backstory for her, seeing how she hasn't been on a mission with us. The hind end of space. A pit of a world, to be sure. Where Jedi rarely tread. But we had heard of them. Well, everyone had. So that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth. Defenders of justice. Heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Yes, yes I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was old, and maybe a little enamored. They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi, to lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted, I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Okay. Oh, 
to get into the Sith Academy. Around here they call us hopefuls. Well, that's the only way to become a Sith, isn't it? In the Academy you learn to use the Force. After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. Well, I thought they were good, but I've been here for days now and I haven't drawn any attention at all. I suppose that might be good, I don't know. Some of the attention Sith have shown to other hopefuls has been pretty deadly. <sighs> I wish I knew to tell you the truth. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Either way, it's Yuthura Bon who makes the final decision. She's a Twi'lek Sith Master, I hear. Very high rank. She's the one who decides which hopefuls make it in and which ones don't. I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes she comes out into the colony to drink at the cantina, though. But I guess she could be anywhere. All right. Thanks, Julia. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a bantha, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. Oh, it's a test, all right. It's a test to see if they're actually fool enough to die. If they don't, however, I certainly wouldn't admit them just for that accomplishment. You should not toil with people's lives. Oh, what a sweet guy. He should get the Sith Congeniality Medal. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. You talk to Meckel? Oh, no. Oh, th leave. leave me be. Just, just a few hours. Somehow I think he'll get over it. Leave. Leave just, just a few. You are 
neither a Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. It is the device given to one who has been accepted into the Academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one, which you must then take to Yuthura Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the Academy. On your... <laughs> okay. So who do we con off the medallion from? Oh no, it's turned around. There's gotta be somebody up here we con a medallion off of. Nope. Hey, what's this? Looks like we found ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. But we do, isn't it obvious? Yeah, I don't want to fight you. Hey, that's a Jedi trick. What? You, you won't get away with this. Well, oh yeah, that's what was the problem. Ready? Sure. I've had two friends killed by the Sith already. It must be some kind of test. I'll survive, and make it into the Academy. I know it! Oh, there's the medallion. Quick save. God, another one. <laughs> Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. Nothing you fools can compare to me. Please! You're jealous. You're jealous of my power. You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? Let's just see. 
I have the power to do anything. Hudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha. Sniffling fool. You would ever belong beside me in the academy. I'd rather keep you now and save us the trouble. What's this? It seems I have an audience. Look, Jedi. Just keep walking. Spence with the same. You can't stop me! You first, human. And then she dies. Now look at that. Two medallions now. Actually, let's head back. To, let's go to the Evan Hawk and get to see what that guy's spice thing is before we go any further. That's upgraded, that's good. Oh, I guess Basilis wouldn't be on there because... It must be a little glitch in the game because I know we returned her. See this space anywhere? I already checked over there. That's why I keep having that little stowaway thing as being asked. Okay.
Hmm. Oh, don't see any spies here, so I guess we'll head back out. Terrace? I can't believe the Sith are powerful enough to do that. Okay, what's her name? Should be at the cantina, apparently. Oh, oh there she is. Can you not see that I am busy, human? you have a medallion. Where did you get it? I see. How very enterprising of you. Though that is not the normal way that we select our students for the Academy. We Sith do encourage such independent thinking. You may even be a suitable candidate to join us. That is what you wish, I take it. To become a Sith. Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Ah, oh, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I... yes, yes. We are only servants to the... the Master. There is something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Oh, good. Save me the walk. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? 
Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. <laughs> what have you, screaming in the background. Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Dun dun dun. How may I be of a... What is it you would like to speak? Oh, of course. Okay. Thought we were going to talk because she yes, had the problem with the slave thing. Oh. You got Alright. Quick save here. Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Absolutely. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting. Isn't it, Master? <laughs> Reaching that map as they did is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Very well, I'm I so agree. glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. 
I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Eh. The Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the Force is mastered. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. I am not surprised. The force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. You have had it. Yeah, well, I might as well go tell the guy that. Figure out this maze here. No, there we are. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only. Passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false? It is our passion that fuels the Force. True. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Oh? It is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Oh, so it's a popularity contest, basically. Wonderful. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. All right. Well, before we go out, let's explore some more. But we will do that next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next week.